we get 30% of our teachers are from the University of South Florida. I mean, not having the undergraduate program at USF is going to be, I don't want to, I want to stop short of the word devastating, but it, it is going to have a, a, a horrible, a tremendously negative impact uh, on us. Pasco Superintendent Kurt Browning, one of many district leaders to express concerns today. To eliminate a program that's beneficial to all of us is really one that we don't need to happen. We talk about a shortage in teachers and what will that do to our local community? Education is a human right. Students on the USF campus also rallying to save the undergraduate program. Taking everything away from the College of Education just isn't right. So to answer your question, I don't know if, if there's anything I can do, but I'm going to use every fiber of my body to try to fight back against this thing. The interim dean of education, Judith Ponticell, joined the superintendent's meeting, explaining the school is navigating a possible $6.8 million budget cut and enrollment is also down. We also know that we have had a 63% decline in enrollment at the undergraduate level. And nationally, we are seeing um, a decrease in the number of students that get a degree, a bachelor's degree in education. 